hello welcome back to nana's kitchen i hope you're all doing well i hope you're doing good it's lovely to have you here today we're going to make one of my favorite dishes which is egusi stew in ghana we call it palava sauce or contemporary stew but i know in nigeria it's referred to as egusi soup so to make your egusi stew palava sauce or contemporary stew these are the ingredients that we'll be using today i've got here diced beef and you can use any protein of your choice but i'm using beef i've got here mackerel which i'm going to smoke it so when we get to that i'll show you what i'll do with it i've got palm oil and this is the brand that i use which is very nice and healthy i've got here um three large onions two scotch bonnets ginger and some cloves of garlic i love garlic so i use quite a lot of that i've also got tomato puree um, chopped tomatoes spinach it looks quite a lot but trust me um, spinach just goes down once it touches heat so it won't be a lot at all and um, this is the main show which is the egusi and there we go this is in its raw state before it gets blended and here is me having blended it so let's start cooking so here i've chopped one large onion with all the cloves of ginger and the garlic and i'm going to blend it in addition to all the ingredients that i've mentioned you also need seasoning cube and then salt to taste but you can use any one now i have my blended ginger and garlic and onion so i will add about four tablespoons to my meat Then I'll add one seasoning cube and a tiny bit of salt, just like that. I'll mix it all up and I will start cooking the beef until it is tender. Now that the meat is on and cooking nicely, let's go on to the mackerel. So into the um, on the mackerel, I just add some salt to season it. And the same mixture I made, the same ginger, garlic and onion that I blended, I put some into the mackerel, about three tablespoons or two teaspoons. Actually, it will be too small, so just tablespoons are good. And then what we'll do is we're going to mix it all together. Let the fish sit down and marinate for about an hour or two, and for all the season to go in it. And we will start putting it in the oven to smoke it or grill it. And you can certainly add any fish seasoning of your choice, but I just like adding just salt because it's going to. The fish is going to go back into the stew and it will pick more seasoning from the stew. So just a bit of salt and a bit of the ginger, garlic and onion mixture will just do fine. So I let it sit for about an hour to two hours before I put it into the oven to burn. So now I'm done with the blended mixture. I've already used some for my beef and some for my fish. And the remaining part will go towards making the stew itself so what i'm going to do to make it quicker is to add my scotch bonnet into the remaining and blend. now the meat has been cooking for about 15 minutes so it's nice and tender i've just chopped the two remaining large onions ready for making this stew. at this point the fish has been marinating for about an hour and 15 minutes so it's okay for me to start grilling so i'll just put it in the oven and grill it at this point we are ready to make the stew so into my pot i add the palm oil about three or four full of the metal i'm using You 
can reduce the quantity depending on the amount of food you are cooking and we just add the chopped onions all in it fire on and saute the onions for about two to three minutes so the onions have been cooking for about two minutes and i don't like my onions to be burned so at this point i will add the blended onions ginger garlic and the pepper um the scotch bonnet pepper into it and again allow it to cook down for about two or three minutes at this point the stew has been cooking for about two to three minutes so i'm ready to add the tomato puree so i'll just add the tomato puree and you can add depending on the size of the stew you're making so with but this is quite a lot of stew i'm making so i'm going to add about three tablespoons Stir it all together and allow it to cook for about a minute or two and then we can then add the chopped tomatoes at this point it's been cooking for about two three minutes after i added the tomato puree so we are good to go and we can add the chopped tomatoes so here i add the chopped tomatoes and i'm adding all of it going to add one seasoning cube mind you because our stock our stock will be added back into the stew so you need to be mindful of the seasoning you add here so i won't add salt at this point just one seasoning cube i'll stir it all together and allow the stew to cook for about five to seven minutes at this point all under low to medium heat now let's add a bit of water into our egusi to make it into a very thick paste and you can also add a bit of salt the salt allows it to cuddle more and egusi is all about cuddling so you can add salt and be mindful again because you there's already salt in the stew so you don't want to make your stew too salty but mix it all together until it becomes a nice thick paste just like that the consistency i'm just going to check the fish and as you can see it's grilling nice and lovely it's almost done in about two to two, five minutes i will switch it off now the stew has been cooking for about five minutes so i will give it a little stir and cover it up and let it cook for another two to three minutes before i add the meat and this one. Now the stew has been cooked for another five minutes. So at this point, I'm just going to give it a little stir and then I will add the meat and the stock into the stew. Stay it all together. And allow the stew to cook for another two to three minutes after which i will add the egusi paste at this point the stew has been cooking for another three minutes after i added the beef in the stock and it's looking good and mind you the meat was already cooked so i'm not looking to make it any further softer here and just to add it all back into the stew and get it all married together so at this point i can add the ikusi paste which i have made just add it back so you're basically dropping the ikusi into the surface of the stew and don't stir it then you lower the heat down a bit and then you cover the pot you're gonna let it cook under very low heat so the ikusi has been cooking for about five to seven minutes now so at this point I'm just going to check if it's all kettled and as you can see it's kettled nicely so I'm going to stir it together. 
and can you see how it's kettled we'll cover with the pot and then allow it to cook for another five at this point the juicy stew has cooked for an additional five minutes so we are good to add the grilled or smoked fish so i'll just put it back into the stew as it's all cooked and i put this in at the last stage because you don't want the fish to be broken so just add it back in it all in nicely and just be careful not to break the fish. And just allow it all to marry together for about five minutes. The stew has been cooking for another five minutes so at this point I just stir it up and add the spinach. Just drop them into the surface just like that and cover the pot and within like two minutes it will all be rotated and I can stir it back into the stew. Just check in after two minutes and the spinach is nicely wilted so I will gently stir it into the stew and mix it all together and being careful not to break any of the fish. it all back in and at this point when this all stayed in you can taste for salt and if the quantity is not enough you can add some additional salt to things let the stew then cook for another two minutes and uh, it's done the igusi stew is done lovely just look at it and it's so tasty so so tasty Our Ecosy stew is done. Look at that. Beautiful and delicious. I saved mine with rice and it's so, so, so tasty. It goes very well with curry, with yam, with pap or salsa delicious thank you so much for watching give this recipe a try you will love it see you soon bye